is uh, video number four of today. Um, this may be a longer one because I really would like to show you something in while we are driving to Walloon in regards to the fuel efficiency. Um, okay, let's um, get started. The car is not fully charged yet. It still uses 1.2 kilowatts. So battery is not full, but that's fine. We have to go in the next five minutes anyway. Yeah, not even not even the cooling pump is running for the inverter and charger and rear motor. I'm, I, I guess the battery is still around 35, 36 degrees hot, but while charging there's no cooling, nothing. Okay, let's turn it on. This is the vacuum pump for the brake booster. And the cooling has kicked in for the air condition, which is cooling the battery pack. And the cooling is running now with the pump for the rear motor, inverter and um, charter. This is, this is the air condition. This is fairly loud actually, the, um, the vacuum pump. But this one you can barely hear. And the rest is the air condition now. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now it gets really loud. <laughs> All right, so uh, recording. Battery temperature 32, 37. So it has increased one degree again to 37 now. But as I said, I'm not too worried about it. So we are at 97.5% state of charge. So going back to B0, so at the moment we're using 20 kilowatts of power to the motors up this hill here. And the battery gauge shows us full, but the gas meter only 25 kilometers in the car. And the gas meter in the dog shows us 28. So 25 in the car, 28 on the dog. And I think this is due to the fact that I have the air condition on. Let's turn this off again for a moment, the air condition. And we now have, yeah, 32 now on the, on the um, gasometer and 28 in the dog. So when I turn on the air con again, that's why it is lower than the dog. It usually shows more kilometers than the dog. The dog is more conservative in predicting our EV range. So I'm always going back to B0 as soon as possible. So when I take my foot off the accelerator, it, the car actually coasts and doesn't use any more energy. God, we've got 34 degrees outside now. It's a quarter to three in the afternoon. I know this uh, route we are driving now um, pretty well to this customer. So I know where the hills are, the mountains and the, the downhill sections. So now for example, down this little hill here, just take your foot off, car coasts, no energy consumption. Gives you another two or three hundred meters of um, distance without using any energy and this all adds up at the end of the trip and then you are saving lots of energy and if you care about energy consumption that's probably how you should drive the car that's the most efficient way to do so put it in P0, B0 and let it coast 
now again down this hill here coasting probably until the traffic lights there I guess they are turning red before we arrive there let's see there we go now B5 braking of course and a little bit of friction brake <sighs> Bloody traffic light. That's the only traffic light in this area. It turns red, of course. <laughs> so I was pushing the gas a little bit. This guy behind me was trying to keep up. Ah, he's turning now. Coward. And we have used already three blue bars of the battery so now we are entering the highway I usually do this in full electric and now it's a huge energy consumption factor here to push the car that far but we will have a down uh, downhill section quite in a couple of hundred meters here so there's no benefit of putting on the engine it would not be firing up soon enough to propel the car actually oh see forgotten to put in B0 because I'm a little bit too fast at the coast now and you could see the battery dropping down to 76% now with this acceleration to the highway and even on the highway here, coasting down this little hill. <coughs> it's probably another three, four hundred meters I can coast. We're still doing 100 kilometers an hour. No problem. keep driving electric now for the moment just there after the next bend it goes downhill again further down in the valley and we can coast a bit or even use region sometimes a bit to um, keep the 100 kilometers per hour And then we have to fire the engine because we are going up these mountains. Two mountains in a row with uh, downhill sections afterwards we have to pass. And because I'm driving this way, this um, route here so often, I know how to handle the car, what the most efficient driving style is for it. So this is still 100 kilometers per hour area here on the highway. You can see beautiful summer weather. Just a few clouds and temperature 33 outside at 10 to 3. What is our battery temperature doing? 29 and 38. See bat battery module number 2 is on 38 degrees which must be one of the front ones I have seen 40 degrees in one of the modules but that was when we had uh, 44 degrees outside so now we are going downhill here again cars in B0 of course so we can just coast you can see the battery voltage actually rising now the battery is relaxing it is recovering and the battery voltage is rising so a little bit of energy usage here to keep this 100 kilometers per hour and now we are going downhill again here Beautiful. 
beautiful almost 3.9 volts in the lowest cell that's amazing okay so now we need to give it a bit of gas and once we reach the middle of this valley here I turn on the engine in safe mode so it can warm up and propel the car uphill which I will do right now here after the barrier okay turned on safe mode uh, charge mode sorry and now the engine is firing up and as you can see from the um, kilowatt to the motors it's still running on pure electric at the moment and the engine is just warming up a little bit before it actually kicks in and drives the car eventually as you can see in front of us is now the mountain we have to climb and the engine should warm up in a second here it is and it takes over just as we approach this hill here the freaking prior is hammering me speeding so I'm now using the petrol engine to go up this hill and once we are on top of the hill I turn off the engine again and we are coasting down the other side and regenerating energy I'm not charging the battery now all the energy of the petrol engine goes into propelling the car you can see the power meter is fairly up high it takes some energy to get this car up this hill here I'm trying to keep the car as close as possible as at 100 kilometers per hour here okay now so we are on top of it now and I turn off charge mode again, let car coast down this hill. Look at this beautiful view. Still doing 100 kilometers per hour. And so there was 1.9 liter per 100 kilometers in average since we started this trip this afternoon here. They was just going up this one hill. I'm going to B1 and shortly into B2 because there's an 80 kilometer restriction coming soon. Just need to check this camera if it's going to record actually. It does. Because the battery is fairly down. Okay, going in B2 now. Regening 8.39 kilowatt, 10 kilowatts now, and now getting quickly in B3, and then back into B0 coasting until we get to the next mountain ahead of us. 62% state of charge. Letting this guy in here. Okay, so I'm pressing charge mode again. Back to 100 kilometers per hour. Now we are seeing the hybrid mode. So our petrol engine and electric motors are pushing the car forward. But I'm doing already 110. You can see here the uh, fuel consumption at the moment is 14.4 liters per 100 kilometers on fuel 
up this hill. turning off charge mode again on top of the hill at the car coast B0 already going B1 because this downhill is fairly steep here and we can recharge with uh, 5 kilowatt now 4 to 6 yeah 4 5 6 kilowatts and this is a B1 recharge B0. It's flattened out here. Coasting again. state of charge okay coasting our energy consumption in fuel 2.5 liters now okay so going up this hill here again charge mode turned on here it comes And the engine taking over flawlessly. This one clutch system is fantastic. There's no hesitation, there's no stuttering, nothing. You can't you can barely feel the when the engine takes over the motors or the other way around. It's amazing technology. Very good. Now we are even recharging with 1.4 kilowatts. Oh, seven kilowatts now, yes. I was wrong. So. <clears throat> I don't bother turning off the engine for this little dip here. Just let the car coast. As you can see, every coast, we use uh, 14 kilowatts of energy into the battery now as a charge from the generator. And the car is not being propelled by the um, engine at the moment. So around 14-15 kilowatts is what I have observed when you have the engine on and let the car coast. That's what goes into the battery. Which is a little bit over 1C of charge. But as soon as you um, kick the accelerator the charge speed goes down of course because the um, power needs to go into the transmission to actually propel the car okay so I'm turning off charge mode here again because this is a fairly steep downhill and I put the car in B2 very soon just worried my battery is dying I drive electric up this little hill here because I know there's a long downhill section coming after this here <clears throat> which is almost enough to coast so we can keep the 100 kilometers per hour with very little energy consumption so there we go Down 
the car. Oh, B0 again, coasting. No energy consumption at all. Beautiful. And let's have a look at the battery temperature. 2738 still. Still driving electric because we have to turn in a couple of hundred meters. Just need to wait until this four wheel drive passes me. It was very pushy. Okay, truck behind me. Yep, the truck can have the left lane now. And I put the car in B5 already now. So I can slow down at this stage here. Okay, full B5 regen. Braking. And... I have to wait. Still driving full electric. This is now another probably four or five kilometers until the destination and I don't bother to turn on the engine anymore. <coughs> ah, there are heaps of cars coming from the left on this intersection here and don't want to risk anything. Yeah, there are too many cars coming. The gaps are not very far in between. Don't want to cause any problems here. So, but I can turn now. That's my turn here. Here we go. Crossing the highway. That's always dangerous. Always. Okay, so. It's our state of charge 53%. As I said, it's only a couple of kilometers now driving, and it's a 60 80 kilometer mix. Going back in B0. coast down these little dips here as much as possible and the fuel consumption so far 2.8 liters but I still have about one uh, one quarter of the battery We'll go down anyway now. Very bumpy roads here. Jeez. There's no car behind me, so I can slow down. Take it easy. Oh, really, these these roads here. It's like a roller coaster. Okay, I need to speed up a little bit. There's a car behind me now. down. The guess what Vida says, I've got another 10 kilometers left and the dog shows us 8 kilometers left. So coasting into the 60 zone. There we go and we are almost there. Would be nice to recharge. So to just plug it in over there for this hour or whatever it takes. We need 
far more charging stations really and really usual, usually power points are enough 10 amp or 16 50 and 60 amp power points are enough to recharge your car while you are doing business with someone or while you are having an appointment or something you know you just plug in your car and you top it up a little bit for a few kilometers that would be just handy okay so I'm almost taking the far rightmost parking spot okay here we are okay stop the recording stop the dog and uh, let's go it's pretty good all right guys so we are back back in business I couldn't recharge this other camera here so apologies for that but I'm not going to film my way back anyway so because it will be the same driving style again so you drive uphill on charge mode and then turn off charge mode again on top of the hill and coast down the other side and this is what I said the most um, um, efficient way to drive this car when you are driving longer distances on the flat or something you press the charge button as well charge up the battery to about 60 70 percent and then turn off charge mode and use this battery down until the engine kicks in automatically and then press the charge button again and charge the battery up again to 60 70 percent if you do this it uses around one liter less on fuel as if you just push the save button and keep the battery level at one stage it's a little bit more work but i mean it's one liter per hundred kilometers that's a lot of fuel over time so i'll just drive home now and then we have a look at the um, actual trip card from today and from this trip and go from there okay see you at home we just have a look at together at the dog and see how many kilowatt hours are 1.2 ampere hours lost well i was parking here for uh, one and a half hours and 1.2 ampere hours just gone well there's nothing i can do okay um as i said um i'll see you at home it's close to five o'clock and we still got 36 degrees outside Welcome to sunny hot Australia, hey? It's uh, actually only 30 degrees outside. That was just because the car was parking in the sun. So, 5 o'clock, 30 degrees. Welcome to sunny hot Australia, huh? Can't see anything anymore now. Sun. So, we're on the highway now. Battery is empty. Engine has just kicked, just kicked in. And I put the car in charge mode now and I will charge the battery up until we are on top of the next mountain and then coast down the mountain and so on okay peeps we made it home 26.6 percent I managed which is 7.4 7.3 ampere hours only that's insanely low insanely low really you see this is when I come from the highway down there this is about three and a half kilometers I need to drive from the highway to home and I left the highway at 30.4% uh, state of charge and I still managed to get here with 26% left um, the engine didn't kick in anymore so it's an 80 60 kilometer zone while if I go the other way around and come through the little hills here on the other side the engine definitely kicks in it uses a lot of more energy and the BMS BMU recognizes that and kicks the engine in so always come from the other side from the highway where it's flat if you want to visit me that is from today not today today because today is four videos but this is today when you actually watch this so this is video number four okay so 70 kilometers it was um, fair bit up and down a yeah, sportive bullshit 22.7 percent glide and only 70 percent regen and that's exactly what you should have the glide fun the glide figure should be far higher than the region figure so that's good 
Okay, that's what we charged in the last charge. But we have used 4 liters per 100 kilometers and 11.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Okay, this doesn't sound too good actually for a 70 kilometer trip. Well, that's what it is. That's all I could do, I'm sorry. 2.8 liters burned, but only 1.8 kilowatt hours used <laughs> while recharging. So guys, okay, that was my last trip for today, actually. 26 and 37 degrees Celsius in the battery. Seven, uh, 37 degrees Celsius in the battery maximum. Module number two, as always. So I won't bother recharging the car tonight anyway. Oh, no, I have to. There's another trip to the tip tomorrow, but without trailer. It just so I'll do this tomorrow. I'll plug in the car and it gets a recharge at 1 a.m. in the morning when it's nice and cool outside and the battery will have cooled down until then. So don't leave any nasty comments. Andy, you're killing the battery because it's cooking. It's too hot. It's not too hot. 37 degrees is not too hot and the air condition is still oh, look at this dust. The air condition is still um, kicking in, cooling the battery. So everything is fine. And what we can do actually on this last trip here we can actually have a look at the overall trip card of today so this is the overall trip card of the last four days don't don't be fooled this is not just from this video this is from the last four videos which is one day for me 103 kilometers uh, yeah see 13 percent Clyde and 18 percent region only it should be the other way around I'm not I'm not colliding enough I'm not colliding enough. There's more potential. So we charged with 13.6 uh, kilowatt hours all in total during the whole day. There was with the initial charge this morning, to, um, this yeah, to, tonight, uh, not tonight, but to this morning, a.m. And I've recharged four times. So yeah, that's the same figure. 2.8 liters of fuel burned over the whole day. 16.4 kilowatt hours. That's a little bit higher because we have driven on pure electric most of the time this morning or only pure electric actually and then I recharged on uh, 15 amp when I came home and cooked the battery <laughs> no, I didn't cook the battery and now we are ending up with yep yeah, these figures here that's pretty good actually that's for a hundred for a hundred and three kilometer trip heaps of elevation in there sportive bullshit driving style um 16.4 kilowatt hours and 2.7 liters per hundred kilometers not bad not bad for a 73 percent state of health battery huh don't forget that my battery is toasted i should tell you actually something about now i do this in a future video okay guys so far this whole session of videos as always as always guys i really appreciate all your support i appreciate that you're watching my videos i appreciate that you're leaving comments that you sent oh the engine just kicked in holy shit i'm that far down right must be 25 or so i appreciate really your your emails your comments your facebook messages everything you get in contact with me it's thank you so much guys really and we are close to 1400 subscribers now which is totally mind-blowing i mean 1400 people on this planet have subscribed to my channel <laughs> it's just it's just can you believe that i don't know i don't okay okay <laughs> it's just insane so guys again thank you so much for that we will see us in the next video of course uh, if it's a longer one i'll try to split it up a little bit um as these four ones and you stay charged, definitely stay charged. There's Bonnie. And we will see us again. Okay, guys, thank you so much again. Bye bye.